it's a big nest. Sits on the side of this hill. They've got it. They've got it changed up in here. I'm assuming it's them. Where the bushes are kind of. Oh, what's down there? Let's skip. Let's skip what the hell I was talking about. So look. I don't know if you guys can tell how big these vines are, but you can't even get your hand around them. This setup right here ain't an accident. As you could tell, I'm on the edge of a golf course at this location, so we've got some annoying noises, but. So goes the suburban squatching, right? Look at this. I don't really care for the word squatching, but I, kind of, I guess I kind of like it, but I don't like some people that I've heard use it. It's like, you know, on TV. doing right now is we're doing the there's a, a golf course and some of the some of the woods go around the whole thing around the outskirts and I've tried to uh, I've tried to cover it all and I had to do it uh, and I still haven't seen I still haven't seen one section but it took me three different days I think it would have it could have did it in two but uh weather did not permit you know I'll go out in any kind of weather but when it's lightning bolts you can't really put yourself in a place like this If you notice all these uh, white colored, I don't know if they're pines or what, but they're always ripped out right from the base. They're either broke off or ripped right out. I don't know why they do that. Look at that one. That one's healthy. There was another one right there, another one up there. If you guys are hearing sounds in the distance, it's not like there's too many ambient, there's too many ambient sounds going on right now. I just don't want anyone chasing audio. That loud car that was behind us a minute ago just went out the other way. So, Oh, look. That's not what I saw. I don't think, anyway. But, because it was up a lot higher than this deer is. Hey, girl. 
It's all right. Oh, she's out of here. Look at the size of this setup, huh? Look at this. This is a big setup. It's laid under there. Looks like a doorway. The way this is, uh, right? Right, let's use it. Let's see if anything changes. The only reason I know for sure that we ain't in the veil, or we weren't back there, was because I could still hear all this crap. And usually when we're inside it, whenever we cross over into it. Uh, all sorts of ambient noise will just kind of disappear. They got their eyes fixed on me. So this kind of looks like it might be the just an extension of maybe that's where they want to hang out back in there. This is technically Bubba's area. It's just a uh, oh look a blue mylar balloon hiding down there. It's just not a side of things that we frequent. Oh, there's another one right there. Two. There's actually two, right? It's only like 15 feet away. 15 yards, I should say. Driving upstate the other day, I seen three, three deers on the highway, on the throughway, and one was a buck, young buck, two were does, and uh, it was just really upsetting. I don't know about anybody else, but when I, I've done this since I was young, I don't know where I picked it up from, but uh, I kind of do a let's say a prayer when I'll see a dead animal, any kind of any kind of dead animal on the road. I do it when I pass uh, churches and things like that too, cemeteries, stuff like that. This looks like a nice setup here. Uh, I don't really know when it started, but I've done it since I was young. Anyway, to me, all life is precious. You know, some people just like, probably don't care that there's a dead animal on the side of the road, but you know, one way you can avoid that is a lot of a lot of these animals are scavengers, especially at night when we can't see them, and they uh, they don't always cross the road for any other reason except they're coming out to pick up our trash that we threw carelessly out the window. This one, the other ones are moving around. This reminds me of how Sasquatch are. The the rest will one will just kind of stay close, keep an eye on you, and the rest. See, what did it take? Why did it take its head off me? Deers don't have good eyesight. They detect movement. So my question to you is, what made it look over here? Um, yeah, so... A lot of uh, this roadkill can occur just due to, uh, you know, our littering. So I started to, when I figured that out once upon a time, I started to really, I pull over and really, if I have something that's like food wise, like if it's a wrapper, I leave it in the car. If it's food, I, I'll, if I need to get rid of it, I really heave it like into the tree line or off the, off the road as not to intrigue any animal to come and get it. All right, buddy, we're gonna have to come in this way. 
I have a specific gift for Bubba, but I don't want to leave it here. I don't want to leave it on this side, just in case he doesn't receive it. I haven't shown you guys this gift that I leave, but it's a... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you today, because it's... I'll make a little side video, I guess. Maybe I'll attach it to this one. But anyway, the... Uh, he loves it. He loves it, they love it. And... Uh, I'll be honest, I kind of kept it to myself up till now, but I'll share it, I'll share it with you. Yeah, they don't, they don't run, like I don't get that. They'll run like a few feet and that's it. Whoa! Some fresh scat I almost stepped in. game trails are very very hefty without these game trails it would be hard to it'd be hard to maneuver through with a brush been having a couple of trolls on the channel lately it's kind of enjoyable Next one, I'm just going to leave up there. I don't really care. What you guys have at it. <clears throat> the saddest part is usually it's, uh, it's repeat people that, like... And it's kind of embarrassing. I don't know if they know that as creators, like, we can figure it out, who it is. But uh, it's kind of embarrassing, I think, when they make, like, another account another account another account something caught my attention up there not visually I don't know how to explain it necessarily but it wasn't necessarily something I caught visually it just I was drawn to that oh, I was drawn to that area far as I can get. So you see what I mean though? There's a uh, there's woods all around this golf course. You might see people on the golf course, I don't know, so if you see anybody yeah you know, like out there. But anyway, this goes all the way around and then in some areas it's very, very deep. Like back there, it goes very, very far back. Like this section goes to the dried up creek bed and carries out, and then it goes up and in. Yada yada yada. Yeah, they're just walking around up there, those deer. Just hanging out. They got a good eye on me, though, I'll tell you that much. This is actually where I found their first, uh, little, some of their first, anyway. They had these structures out here, and they, I, I believe they were set up on the edge of the course, because in the winter, this course is a, it's probably perfect. Uh, there's a watering hole down there, where there isn't many around here. Uh, it's for the golf course, but it's, that's what it is. Look at that golf club leaner. <laughs> uh. Had to get up in the air, huh? Now maybe somebody happy Gilmore it. Got pissed and threw it. Who knows? But uh, anyway, they had these setups like right here, and this is kind of the remnants of it. They're they're pretty old. Uh, probably two or three years old from when I found them. But anyway, they were very active back then because I would find things in them. And uh, I think they just sat here because it was quiet in the winter. This whole field is dead. There's nothing out there. No people. Nothing. <coughs> and you could see everybody coming in from a mile away. And then back here, you know, you, obviously you see what it is. There's, there's a big hill up there. It is. 
you know, you can pretty much see everything. And it's comfortable. It's quiet. It's probably peaceful looking out there. There's some geese on the field. There's a bunch of geese out there. Some deer. All sorts of things. I would take you through the whole thing, but... Uh, basically, uh, it's going to end up spitting me out in a place that I don't, I don't want to because I'll be seen. And then I'll have to trek back pretty far too, so. Some more scat. It's hard to say what that belongs to, but. I'm gonna go with deer because see that looking through I'm gonna try and put you right through this right through the gap here you see the dark figure in there <coughs> look how dark that is <coughs> Sorry, I got something going on next to me and behind me. Well, there might be two in there. If it's them. Could be nothing. <clears throat> Find out. See that, that doesn't look like a setup to me. I don't think so, not at least by the Sasquatch. I think that's just a big fallen tree that had a bunch of crap around it that took down a bunch of crap when it fell. Doesn't look like they did anything to it afterwards either, so. Again, I think they utilize this side more than anything. That big nest is over there, obviously, and I'm not gonna mess with it because it looks like they did stuff like they do here, where they tie things into each other. And they, uh, they kind of form, form these. So in the winter, this is something the Sasquatch do, at least here. I can't say everywhere. What they do here is the, the woods thin out and the leaves thin out. So maybe it's for cover. Maybe it's for the veil purposes or connectivity. Maybe it's just something that appears more when the leaves fall off. That's a very good possibility. But what I'll notice is some areas that were open uh, will close off. And it's literally, you could, if you look at them closely, they'll be like tied. Like, if you get a chance, take a good look at this setup. Like, take a really good look at it, and look at how that break right there, and all that stuff there, goes into that break, and it comes out to right there, what we were talking about. But, if you get a chance, just look at this setup and tell him, do yourself justice. Connects into that tree, goes out. Whatever that dark thing up here was, look, there was actually a tree here at one point, you could tell. Maybe on that side, too. It looks like there was one laid in there, too. Where'd it go? I don't know. <coughs> Whatever that dark spot was. Maybe it's just because I moved. I don't see it. It could have just been part of the... Could have just been part of the big nest up there. Something poking out of the bottom of it. Looks like some some eyes might be over the over the top of one of the. Uh, it's not like a log at all. It's a big interweaving. I don't know. Look at those two symmetrical eyes. It looks like it almost looked like it just blinked.
I understand the confusion to some, but they they wouldn't be like they they wouldn't look like something separate. They would look like an extension of that section. Sound like something stomped right here, like, like, like if I was to like slap like the ground or a hollow log or something. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know. Could have just been a deer stomp and it echoed. I don't know. I decided I don't want to post the footage from the other day when I was out with Brian. Montauk is strange. Um, it was an amazing outing. Uh, maybe down the line I'll, I'll download the stuff again and, and upload it or whatever. But if you want to see our outing, go check his channel out. It's his last video. He put a lot of work into it. And... Uh, I really think you guys should check it out. Let me know. You could let me know what you think, of course, but It's hard, it's hard to say what, what made that noise because the squirrels are even pretty loud in this silence. Let's see what the hell was that? Oh, goose. Forgot they're over there. Alright, and from when I go over. Yeah, I'm going to go over to his side. I'm going to go over to Bubba's, like, main side and leave him a gift. Uh, I think I'm going to make a video because uh, I know it's something that it's one of the best gifts I give that I know that they enjoy. And I'll explain why. I'll explain it. That looks like one standing in there. Partially cloaked, or whatever you want to call it. Let me find it on the camera. Yep, there he is, right in there. See? It's like light, light wood colored, almost. Like a light, light brown. But... It's, there was a knock behind me. It's standing out in the middle, like in the grass. Kind of looks like it's in the backdrop on that hill but it ain't it's standing like a good 10 15 feet out in front of it See? It's kind of a better angle. I don't know. You be the judge. Thank you, guys. I'm going to leave off with that one. With that note. Stay safe, stay blessed, thank you, thank you, thank you.